and today I'm doing another of my stories because I haven't done enough and I need to do more. Um, so anyway, um, this story I'm going to tell about the time when I got tendonitis on my foot and because there was a whole big complicated mess going on with it. So this is my first year at my school, private college. This was my junior year actually because I transferred. Spring semester of my junior year of college. This was like getting close to the end of the year. It was April and I'd been fine. Like my foot was fine like feet were fine the entire year. For some reason it just randomly started hurting one day. Like the top of my foot um, just like randomly started hurting one day. So which I was like okay that's odd. Um, I know I put ice on it, um, still hurt the next day, I was talking to my roommates about it, one of my roommates gave me, um, ibuprofen for it, and then it still, like, it just still was, like, wasn't healing, and I was like, well, okay, well, maybe it's because I've been, you know, doing a lot in the theater, it was getting close to, like, tech week, so we were, like, trying to crunch and get everything done for the set. So I was talking to my mom about it one day and um, I don't remember if it was the weekend or what. I think it was the weekend because I think I soaked it or something. Um, but anyway, it like still wasn't working. It still hurt and not and everything like that. And so my mom said, but she was like, well, if it's not feeling better in a couple days, then go to the health center and um, get it looked at. And maybe they like, I mean, she could give you, make sure it's like nothing broken or hurt or anything because I have a habit of rolling my ankle a lot which it was my ankle it was the top of my foot so I was like I don't know how I could have done it because I was going to the theater like straight after classes being in there till five like I had did hadn't have any and I was in class so like I didn't have any time really to go to the health center so finally I got to go the um Oh, the day that it was opening night. Yeah, so because, like, the set was done, we'd already done photo call and everything. No, we didn't do photo I don't remember when we did photo call. But anyway, so it was, like, already done. Set was done. I didn't have to go to the theater after class. So instead, after class, because um, I didn't have to be at the theater, I went to the health center and had my foot looked at. And um, so she, like, asked a whole bunch of questions and stuff. Okay, so every time... Okay, here's the weird part. She asked me if I was or like when my last menstrual cycle blah 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 sorry guys um was and so I told her she's like oh well you're not pregnant and I'm just like I could have told you that if you had just said like are you pregnant like no I wasn't because apparent because I guess sometimes that like the way that was could have like added weight or done something to my foot I don't know anyway um but she had to ask that she looked at my shoes because I had worn these um strappy sandals and she's like, are those shoes new? And I was like, well, yeah, I just got them over spring break. And she's like, well, that might be your issue. You have really high arches, so that's probably a bad thing to wear shoes like that. You need to wear more supportive shoes. And I was like, um, I was like, all right. Um, I don't get it. I actually don't have high arches. My arches are kind of small. She was just like insistent upon the fact that it was my shoes and unusually high arches. For the record, I've worn strappy shoes, strappy sandals, heels, flip flops, flat shoes, barefoot my entire life, and I have never had a problem with my feet until she was like, Oh no, this is definitely the shoes. Like, I've never in had a problem in my life until it was this point. Um, so she. Wrapped it up, she told me to take ibuprofen, she told me to soak it, she told me to um, put ice on it, and then she's like, you need to stay off of it, and I'm like, well, I can't really stay off of it this weekend because it's show week and I'm backstage running around and also, you know, running stuff on stage for, like, what, two and a half hours, so, like, I can't really stay off it during that time, but I mean, um, after the shows and stuff, I didn't ice it, I did prop it on a pillow, and she said if it wasn't, um, uh, didn't feel better in, like, four to six weeks to follow up with my regular doctor from home. Well, since this was, like, a few weeks before school ended, I think it was actually four weeks exactly, maybe, um, before school ended. So I kept it wrapped up. She said it was supposed to feel, feel better in a couple days. It didn't. I kept it wrapped up. I kept, like, putting ice on it and stuff. Anyway, it started feeling a little bit better. I stopped wearing, I stopped wrapping it up. 
school ended, went through finals, I moved home, and then once I, like, at, shortly before I moved home, it started hurting again, so I was like, okay, well, that's weird, I don't know what's going on with it, and, like, I was talking to my mom about it, and, I mean, she had up some salts and stuff, because she's a mom, and she has that stuff, and, um, but she was like, my foot, she's like, those really aren't, you know, like, you don't have high arches, and we are just, like, discussing things like supportive shoes and stuff, and I was like, I've never worn supportive shoes except like when I've worn tennis shoes and not even all my tennis shoes have been supportive and um and I've like never literally never had a problem never had a problem before that time with any of my shoes and not wearing supportive shoes and so like I mean if it was a problem it probably would have come up like earlier in my life like I don't know why it would have waited till I was 22 years old to suddenly be like you have high arches you have to wear supportive shoes now there's a um, doctor that we go to, it's kind of like a doctor slash walk-in clinic, so a lot of times I just walk in rather than make an appointment. I went up there, we went, they x-rayed it, um, they, he, he x-rayed it, he, like, looked at it, he said nothing, um, nothing showed up in the x-ray, but he thought it, like, it seemed like a pretty good indication that it was tendonitis, because I'd also explained the fact that I never had problems with shoes and that, all this stuff with Elson. Um, he was like, I'm, it seems like it's tendonitis. And I was like, oh, well, that's a little bit different than unusually high arches. And he gave me, he's like, keep it wrapped up. So try not to walk on it. Soak it in Epsom salts and, um, take ibuprofen, ice it and all this kinds of stuff. And so I had like, you know, stuff to fix it, which, um, so I did that in a couple days it started feeling better. I kept go I kept doing it a couple days after it felt better just to make sure. And since then that was like over a year ago and my feet have been fine. I mean, there's been a couple times where it's like um started hurting a little bit, but then like it's like hasn't stopped like kept hurting or anything and I haven't had to do anything. It just kind of like get um just like kinda of hurts for a little bit and then goes away on its own. So, I don't know. Never had problems before. Haven't had problems since. I don't really know. But it was just kind of, I don't know if it was just like a fluke or what, but hey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what happened. I hope you enjoyed the story. This was a kind of a weird story, but anyway. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to be notified when more videos are posted. All of my social media links are down there in the description so you can go check those out. And also, I like the way I look. This has been like, there's gonna be like three-ish videos with this look. So, plus the tutorial of how to do it. Anyway, because, but I really like it, so yeah. It started feeling, um, all my social media links are down there in the description. And bye.